Hey, what's going on YouTube? Today we're going to learn about using Apollo to connect your React app to a GraphQL API. Let's check it out. Okay, so to create, first thing we need to do is create our application um, in Okta. So we go to Applications, when you log into your dashboard, click Add Application. We're going to choose single page app because we're creating a React app. We're going to give it a name, in this case, Apollo Demo. We're going to want to change the port to 3000 because that's the default port where um, React runs. I'm removing the implicit just because um, we're not using the implicit flow. We're going to use the authorization code with Pixie flow. So once you've got localhost in your 3000 on your base URL, uh, localhost 3000 slash callback for your login redirect, and localhost 3000 for your logout, um, all the rest of the stuff should be fine. Authorization code will be the default. You hit done, and you'll see over here the client ID and the fact that we're using the proof key for code exchange or Pixie for um, the auth code with Pixie flow. So let's head back to the code. Okay, and once you've got your application set up, <clears throat> we're gonna go ahead and open a terminal window. Okay, we're gonna open the uh, <clears throat> terminal window here and we're just gonna install a couple of things that we need, like Bootstrap. I'm gonna install uh, 4.5.3. That's the latest as of this video. Um, also, React Bootstrap at 1.4.0. Yep, that's the latest as of this version. So we'll get those two installing. There's a couple other things we're going to need to install. Like the Okta auth session. Or, uh, AuthJS library. Um, at 4.0, 4.4, as of this recording. Um, we're also going to want to install the Okta React SDK. This will make uh, authentication with Okta even easier. And Okta, Okta, React, and that's at 4.1. We're also going to install the Apollo client. at uh, 3.3.4 and the GraphQL library because the uh, Apollo client's going to use it. 15.4.0 So install those two. Another package we're going to want to install is React Router DOM dash DOM it's at 5.2.0. And once that's installed, and the last thing you want to install is the .env library, which allows us to create a properties file that we can then use as if they were environment variables. .env env um, that one's at 8.2.0. Alright, now that we've got all of our uh, dependencies installed, let's come on back over here. We're going to create a new file in the root called .env. And we're going to take full advantage of the .env file for the React app, which uh, we'll get our client ID and our Octa domain. 
from the application we just created. There. And the client ID for the application that we created for the Apollo demo. And we get our client ID and plug that in. And now that's done. <clears throat> so the next step in this parade is going to be changing the app.js file right in here. We're going to replace all the code, some pre-typed code so that you don't have to watch me type it all. And we brought in the browser router from React Router DOM, the uh, app with router access from another file that we're going to create here in a minute, the Bootstrap CSS, the Apollo client in-memory cache from Apollo client, and the Apollo provider. Uh, we're going to create a new uh, Apollo client that's going to be hitting our API for the SpaceX landings. And we're going to use the uh, in-memory cache from the Apollo client to cache those results. Um, and then basically, we've just got, we're going to wrap Apollo provider uh, with that client around our router access. So the next thing we need to do is that app with router access file. So create a new file called app with router access dot JSX. And we're going to bring in the routes. So here's our routes. We're bringing in a route from React Router DOM, um, security stuff from Okta React, like secure route and the login callback, and the Okta Auth object from Okta Auth JS, as well as some other pages which we haven't created yet. But we're going to read in those um, that base URL and going to add OAuth two slash default because that's the endpoint for the uh, authorization server at Okta, um, then the Okta client ID, and then the base URL with slash callback for our login callback. Then we've got our basic path that's going to um, display our home page, our secure route, which is going to um, display the blast off page. So you have to be logged in um, using this Okta auth object that we created up here with that issuer client ID and the redirect. We're going to wrap that in security. We're going to say that secure route has to pack, pass the Okta authentication test. And, uh, and then we're exporting it so that we can use it over in app.js, of course. Um, the next thing we're going to want to do is in the source directory, we're going to create a folder called pages. We're going to create another one called components as well. We're going to use it in a minute. Okay, and in the pages folder, we're going to create a new file called home.jsx. And the home.jsx file looks like this. A lot of it's basic stuff. Um, we've got links and redirects from the React router DOM, so we can use those. The use Octa auth React hook we're going to add. So we've got the auth state we're going to pull out of that into a variable that we can use. So we can say, are they authenticated? <clears throat> if they are, then go ahead and redirect them to the blast off page. Otherwise, display this page here. And it's got a, a link to the Apollo client and GraphQL data stuff as well as if you already have an Okta account, you can log in. Um, and then just some basic text down at the bottom of the page. So now that we've got the home page created, um, we're going to create our blast off page. So in our pages, we'll create a new file called blast off dot JSX, of course. And the content of the blast off JSX file is going to list out all the launches for from SpaceX. So here we are. We're going to be using a couple of components that we're going to create here in a minute. But the big things here are um, we're initializing some state. 
we're going to bind this to our on history selected and our on return to histories functions so we can do this and then we can set state and then on this on the loading we're going to show the loading please wait and when this is done we'll have the uh, show history that we can show and then the container will show all the histories so this is just the on return to histories from there and this is on a history selected so we can show a list of them and then we can show a single specific one once you if you select one okay so now that we've got that we're going to need those two components that we created so the first or that we are using here so the first one we're going to do is histories plural dot jsx and histories.jsx is going to be the guy that goes and gets our our data from the SpaceX launch and displays the in the component. So here's our the main stuff here. So we're getting GQL and use query from the Apollo client, and we're going to create a Jeff GraphQL query here. This says I want all the histories with the ID, the details, and a link to the article. Um, flight and ID and mission name okay then the next thing we're going to want to do is use that query and pass that history's query to it so we run the use query and we're going to get loading error and data out of it so if it's loading we're just going to display this loading image otherwise we're going to go ahead and do mission name details and articles so we've got our um, we're going to map each one of the histories out to a table row that shows us the flight or if it doesn't have a name we're going to display unnamed and then we're going to have a link to referring to read that article now to read that article we're going to create the history.jsx component singular And that one's going to do much of a similar thing, but just for one particular launch. So we'll go ahead and put this in there. Same thing. It's going to create a GraphQL query here. Um, it's going to get the history with the ID that's been provided. And it's going to get the data details, the event date, and the Unix time, um, the flight, the rocket, and the rocket name for the rocket, the launch date of the flight, the launch site site name of the flight, the launch success of the flight, <clears throat> and the event date in UTC. We're going to run this use query and we're going to pass a variable to it called ID. That's the one we got from the URL. So again, if we're loading, we'll just show this loading image. If there's an error, we'll show the error. Otherwise, we'll go ahead and display whether or not the launch was successful or whether it failed. Um, we'll also display the uh, return button to return to history so we can use on return histories. Remember, this is a component that's going to be housed inside of the blast off page. And the on history selected will be fired when you click that link there. Um, and then we'll just display the launch time, the event date, the whether it was successful, the label for it, the launch site, the rocket name, the details, because we specified all the information that we wanted to get here, which is kind of the beauty of GraphQL in a nutshell is <clears throat> you can provide a query that gets you just the information you want to display. Finally, we need to add a header. So in the components folder, we'll go ahead and add a header.jsx. And the header.jsx is going to be our thing that loads our menu and login buttons and things like that for us. So there's nothing GraphQL related going on here. Um, it's just going to say, get the octa auth state and get an octa auth object. And if they're authenticated, then go ahead and show the logout button. If they're logged out, go ahead and show the login button. 
um, otherwise show some basic nav stuff here and that's just our header um, that gets shown on the home page okay now that all that's installed we should be able to do an npm run start or just npm start run this and then over in our main window we can see the application working and now we can see our application working we can go ahead and log in here I may be logged in another tab so yeah I was already logged in on the other tab so it didn't make me log in um, if I close this other tab and go ahead and log out maybe it'll force me this time yep and then I go ahead and log in with my username and password and it'll go ahead and load this and then I can choose one of these and read the article about it it was successful it's Falcon 9 I can return back to the missions and I can log out it'll take me back to the home page all right hope you enjoyed that um i hope everything worked for you if it didn't make sure you leave a comment down below if you liked the uh, video make sure you give it a like and if you like this type of content make sure to subscribe and hit that little bell icon uh we put stuff like this out just about every tuesday and thursday so um you'll get notified when new video co videos come out um thank you for joining me today and we'll see you next time